hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today and please if you're new on here do good to hit the subscribe button please 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 okay so today i'm going to talk about top apps i use for editing my videos and pictures because every now and then i get big questions like hey chidera what app did you use to edit this video oh chidera this is really cool how did you edit it so i'll be answering all those questions in this video let's get into it so the very first app that i would recommend and that i use a lot is the imovie app that app is dope okay so for those who have ios devices you already have the imovie editor on your phone but we that use android we have to download this from the play store so i downloaded the imovie app and it's one of the best apps out there for editing videos because it allows you edit your video in high quality and export export it in high definition still so yeah and then it also allows me put subtitles in my videos like you can see an example here here. Uh, the price, subtitle there I edited it in the iMovie app but the only problem with the iMovie app is that then the videos you export are slightly of a large size and that's because it is high definition videos so that is one app that I would highly 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 recommend and that I use a lot okay so the second app that I use a whole lot is in shorts um, I use InShot to edit my videos quickly like when I want to upload a very quick one minute video I use InShot and then I use it to put like titles on top and titles below you know how those Instagram videos are now so yes <laughs> I use InShot and InShot is really cool it's very easy to use the interface is simple so you might want to try using InShot the only thing is that it doesn't really give you the option of exporting your videos in really high definition or low definition it just exports it in one particular size and one particular type now the third app that I use, which is a very cool and creative app, is called Quick Pro. The app is available on the Play Store. All the other apps I've mentioned, they're all on the Play Store and they are free apps. Now, Quick Pro has really cool intros and outros. Like, it's what you can use to just create hype about a video that you created, maybe on YouTube app. Here's an example of the video I'm talking about. So that was created using quick pro it's a free app and there are lots of cool templates like it's a very creative platform i don't know what else to say it's overwhelming <laughs> and also they have really really cool music and also you can upload your own music on the app if you want to so that's an app i would highly recommend any day anytime okay so moving along to the third no foot to the fourth app that i use a lot it is going to be canva i use canva a lot i'm sure it's, it's very popular because it's a very good platform for designing graphics posters pictures but the really cool thing about canva is that recently they upgraded your app so now you can upload videos on canva and use their templates like it's really cool i would highly recommend it for instagram videos now here's an example of the kind of video i'm talking about so yes this video was created using canva so you might want to also try that out now onto the fifth app which is not the least in any way is viva video but ever since i started using imovie i use viva video less so imovie is like up here and viva video is like here now the thing with viva video it also allows you export in high definition but you would have to pay for that it's an app that you subscribe on but the subscription is really low i think it's like 800 naira for a year so you might want to consider using the app if it works for you viva video is quite cool and it allows you you know put your videos in different sizes songs and all that but the only thing i think that it's not on the viva video is the subtitle option because on the imovie app i can put subtitles you know captions subtitles there's no captions subtitles but in the viva video i can't do that so yeah that's the pros and the cons so you might well i think i'll be stopping here for today i want to make my videos really short because i don't want them to be too long and as you can see people are already moving and distracting me god we need to get a good venue so I'm still waiting no Aliexpress I'm still waiting for my equipment and my lights to come in so I don't have to always stay in this car because the essence of staying in the car is I'm looking for a very quiet location because I had to leave work to come here to do this not leave work but I say work has not started mm, yes I think <laughs> 
okay all right thank you so much for watching please don't forget to hit the subscribe button i hope you found this helpful and if you have any questions feel free to drop them drop them drop them in the comment section below and i would answer your questions i'll be there to answer any questions that you have uh and if you have any other apps that you've tried that is really cool free feel feel free to let me know about them god english is hard I'm getting addicted, oh babe I'm getting addicted, oh no